5,000 years ago, Chinese farmers turned barren mountain soil into the most fertile land on Earth using 10 specific techniques. One method created 6 inches of black soil in 6 months. Another kept fields productive for 2,000 consecutive years without chemicals. Modern soil scientists testing these ancient methods recorded 50% higher yields and triple the organic matter. Here are all 10 techniques they used and exactly how you can apply them today. Ancient Chinese agriculture faced soil conditions that would destroy most civilizations. Monsoons stripped topsoil from mountains every season. Intensive farming depleted nutrients faster than nature replaced them. Rocky terrain started with almost no organic matter. Yet Chinese farmers didn't just maintain soil quality, they improved it every single year for thousands of years. The 10 techniques they developed weren't just preservation methods. They were soil-building systems that modern agriculture abandoned but is now desperately trying to rediscover. First, the Longji Terrace system from 700 AD. Farmers didn't just carve flat platforms into mountains. They engineered each terrace as a soil factory. Stone base layer for drainage, then rice straw for structure, then composted material for biology, then topsoil carried from valleys. Each terrace retained water and captured eroding soil from levels above. These 700-year-old terraces still produce rice today with richer soil than when they started. Modern hydrologists found they create 2 inches of new topsoil every decade naturally. Second, anaerobic composting documented in Han Dynasty texts from 200 BC. Farmers dug pits 3 feet deep, layered human waste with crop residue and animal manure, sealed it with clay, and let it ferment for 3 months. This anaerobic process killed pathogens while preserving nitrogen that aerobic composting loses to the atmosphere. Modern studies show fermentation composting retains 40% more nitrogen than traditional compost piles. The ancient method makes bakashi, sold as modern innovation, look like a rediscovery of 2,000-year-old Chinese practice. Third, the 2,000-year-old fish rice system from Yangtze Delta. Farmers raised fish directly in rice paddies. Fish waste provided continuous nitrogen. Their movement aerated soil and water. They ate pest larvae before insects could damage rice. This wasn't farming two crops. This was creating an ecosystem where each element fed the other. Zhejiang University research in 2021 proved rice fish patties produce 20% higher yields with zero synthetic fertilizer. The fish naturally provide everything chemical agriculture tries to achieve artificially. Fourth, nitrogen-fixing cover crops refined during Song Dynasty from 960 to 1279 AD. Farmers planted azuki beans between rice harvests. The beans fixed atmospheric nitrogen in root nodules, then were tilled into soil before flowering. This single practice added over 100 pounds of nitrogen per acre without any external input. Modern agriculture forgot this for a century, replacing free biological nitrogen with expensive synthetic fertilizer. We're now rediscovering that ancient farmers solved nitrogen depletion through observation, not chemistry. Fifth, rice husk biochar used throughout southern China for centuries. After harvest, farmers burned rice husks in low oxygen pits, creating charcoal. This biochar was mixed into soil at 5% by volume. Charcoal holds water like a sponge, houses beneficial bacteria, and lasts thousands of years. Archaeologists found 2,000-year-old Chinese biochar still improving soil structure today. Modern Terra Preta research proves biochar increases water retention by 60% and provides long-term carbon storage. Ancient farmers created it accidentally by observing that fields near charcoal pits grew better crops. Sixth annual canal and lake dredging practiced since 5th century BC. Every winter, farmers dredged nutrient-rich mud from irrigation canals and fish ponds, spreading it on fields. This sediment contained decomposed organic matter, minerals, and beneficial microorganisms. One inch of lake mud provided equivalent nutrients to six inches of compost. Farmers maintained soil fertility for over 1,500 consecutive years using this single practice. Modern wetland studies confirm lake sediment contains three times the nutrients of standard topsoil. Seventh, 
Silkworm Waste Integration from Yangtze Delta Silk Production Regions Silkworms consume massive quantities of mulberry leaves, producing nitrogen-rich waste. Farmers collected this waste and composted it with rice straw. The resulting fertilizer was so potent that one pound equaled 10 pounds of standard manure in nitrogen content. This closed-loop system turned silk production waste into the region's most valuable soil amendment. Textile waste became agricultural gold through observation that fields receiving silkworm waste doubled normal yields. Eighth, four season rotation systems documented in Han Dynasty agricultural manuals. Rice in summer, wheat in fall, beans in spring, then summer fallow with green manure. Each crop used different soil depths and nutrients. Rotation broke pest cycles naturally without pesticides. Fields following this pattern maintained productivity indefinitely, while continuous cropping depleted soil within decades. Modern agronomists now recommend the exact rotation patterns ancient Chinese farmers perfected 2,000 years ago through careful observation of what worked across generations. Ninth, ground bone meal and crushed oyster shells used since, since ancient coastal farming communities. Farmers collected fish bones, animal bones, and oyster shells, crushing them into powder and mixing into soil. Bones provided slow-release phosphorus and calcium. Shells added calcium and adjusted pH in acidic rice paddy soils. One, application lasted five years as minerals gradually released. Coastal regions using this method produced 30% higher yields than inland areas relying only on organic matter. Modern agriculture sells this ancient practice as innovative soil amendment. Tenth, rice straw mulching practiced after every harvest. Instead of burning straw, farmers spread it six inches thick across fields. Mulch prevented erosion, retained moisture, suppressed weeds, and slowly decomposed into organic matter. Over decades, fields built 12 inches of topsoil from accumulated straw breakdown. Modern research proves mulched fields retain 40% more moisture and have triple the earthworm populations compared to bare soil. Ancient farmers understood that covering soil protected its biology better than leaving it exposed to sun and rain. These 10 techniques share one principle. Modern agriculture abandoned. They build soil instead of depleting it. Terraces create new soil. Fermentation preserves nitrogen. Fish provide continuous fertilization. Cover crops, fix nitrogen. Biochar lasts millennia. Sediment adds minerals. Silkworm waste recycles nutrients. Rotation prevents depletion. Bones provide slow-release minerals. Mulch protects biology. Industrial agriculture prioritized short-term yield over long-term soil health. It worked while petroleum was cheap. But as inputs become expensive and soils die, we're rediscovering that ancient methods weren't primitive. They were sophisticated systems refined across thousands of years that actually improved land with each passing generation. Pick two of these 10 techniques to try this season. Start small, observe results, adjust based on what you see. Subscribe to Grow Wise Vision for ancient agricultural wisdom that modern science keeps validating decades too late. Comment which technique surprised you most or which you're trying first. Thanks for watching. Now go apply 5,000 years of proven soil wisdom.